Okay, uh, now we're going to look at binary search trees. Uh, this is a special type of tree that will implement a key value collection. In the past, in this book, we've, uh, we've looked at uh, key value collections that implement the map ADT. Um, so the ones we've seen are a binary search on a list and hash tables, which we both use to create a map ADT. So you can look up a key and it returns a value, or you can insert a key value and it inserts a new pair. Uh, the keys in the map are unique. Um, so just remind you what a map is. An example of a map in Python that's built in is the dictionary uh, class. So we're going to look at binary search tree. It's called BST for short uh, to implement the map data type. And then we're going to look by the end of the chapter, we'll look at how to make it very efficient, as efficient as the uh, binary search on a list, but not as efficient as a hash table. The advantage of a binary search tree is you're able to traverse it in order where a hash table you cannot traverse in order. So recall that the map abstract data type implements a constructor to create an empty map. Uh, it, uh, has, uh, it allows you to put a key value, get a key which will return the value, delete a, uh, a key, uh, find out how many items are in the map with the length operator, and check with the end operator if a certain key is in the map. So here's a, uh, an example of a tree that implements binary search tree. And to make it a binary search tree, just like with priority queues, there's going to be a rule that we follow, and it's called the BST property, or binary search tree. So all the keys in a left subtree of a node are less than the node key. So let's look at node 7, and you can see all the uh, nodes in this left subtree are less than 7. And all the keys in a right subtree of a node are greater than the node key. So if we look at uh, 19, 34 as a subtree is greater. If we look at 15, this whole subtree, all these values are greater than 15. So if you look at any node, uh, everything to the left of that node will be less than it, and everything to the right of that node will be greater than it in the subtrees. So how do we create a, a, a tree? The tree above that we just looked at is if we insert the following numbers. So if we insert the numbers in this order, 15, uh, you'll see that's in the root, 43 ends up to the right, because it's greater than 15. 87 uh, ends up over here because it's greater than 15 and greater than 43. And so basically the order we insert something is also going to give us different shapes of trees. So this is a really important thing about binary search trees. So let's actually look at how this tree is built step by step. So after we insert 15 with, into an empty tree, it just inserted it as a root. So the next thing we're going to insert is 43, and we go to the right because 43 is greater than 15, and we add it to the right node of that node 15. And then we're going to do 87. So 87 is greater than 15, and then we go down to 43. It's greater than 43, so we insert it uh, as a new node to the right of 43. Now the next one is 7, which is less than 15. So we have to insert it into a subtree on 15. There is no subtree, so we're going to insert it as the left child of 15. Then we're going to insert 13. That's less than 15. But we have to insert it to the right of 7, so that's going to become a new child. You're going to start to see the pattern that whenever you insert into a binary, sub tr a binary search tree, uh, for this simple case, it's always going to be a new node at the bottom of the tree. So it's not going to have any children. So let's keep going. 19 will go to the right of 15, uh, but to the left of 43. 17 will uh, go down to the right of 15, to the left of 43, and to the left of 19. Uh, 5 will have to go to the left, but it's less than 7, so it's going to be put to the left of 7. 34, so we'll follow that. It's greater than 15, less than 43, uh, greater than 19, so it's going to be put to the right of 19. And then 3 will follow all the way down to the 5 node, put to the left of 5. 
and 4 will be uh, follow all the way down to the 3 node and then put in to the right of 3. And there we go. So uh, that's the complete tree. So here's an example of inputting the same three numbers and this is the, the different ways we can get a tree. So we input them in order, one, two, three, we input one and then two goes to the right of that and then three goes down to the left of that. So we get a tree like this that only has right nodes. And we insert backwards, we get a tree that only has goes down to the left side. And if we mix it up, we get a tree that looks like this. So we insert three and we insert one and then we insert two, which is less than three. It's gonna to go to the right of that. Let's look at longer trees. So if we insert this sequence, we insert two and then four and then three and then one. And but if we give it the sequence a different direction, we get a tree that looks like this. So you should be able to, given any sequence of keys, you should be able to recreate what the tree looks like. And, and this is something that if you're in a class will be on an exam.